Hi everyone, this is short tutorial about how to create the users in DSS 8.7. So as you see in uh, my case, I got over here a lot of organizations with the devices, cameras, access control, IP speakers, and so on and so on. So now I want to create a specific users to have just some of the features. Because now from uh, DSS 8.7, we really can block, for example, those icons over here for uh, local recordings, playing audio and so on. We can block also this menu or what should be displayed or this menu, as well as what can the user do in this menu. So now you can really like set up what buttons will be available over here for the users. So now I will show you how to do it. You go to settings and you go to users. So first of all, you need to create the new role for your users. You click on add, create a, some role name, for example, webinar. You can choose the validity. For example, you might be able to, or you need to create the user group only for three months. Okay, you will do this. Now we will put long term. If you got already some uh, role created and you just want to adjust that, you can copy. Right now, we will create it from scratch. In my case, as you can see over here, I got all the modules which are now available. So also the web modules, smart retail and smart education, those are web based. We go back to user settings. So also those modules are available over here. So if this user should be able to log in for the web modules. There is another settings which is now available from 8.7. If you want to be able to log the clients on the PC or on the mobile application. In some cases, you don't want your user to be able to use the mobile phones. So this is the first step where they can log in. Second is resources. In resources, first you set up the organization. So if you set up the organization, for example, Trenchin, now you can also, and, uh, and now you will see over here in device resources, what is available in these organizations. So video channel, you see now over here, I got only Trenchin, I don't have anything else. So based on the first step, I'm allowing the resources which can be managed. And we might have the user, the regular operator, uh, who is working only with video channel. So we will click on video channel and we will select one or multiple. We can also select just the specific channel from some NVRs or select all the cameras. So this really depends on us what we, what we want to do. Then access control. Again, only one organization is available and I can choose which access control I want to make available. Also over here with the VTO, I can select, okay, this user can work only with door number one or door number two. So as I said, you can really go and set up everything over here. The same is with a lift control. Uh, if you have a video metrics with decoding channel, alarm and light. So again, go over here, audio, light and alarm if the user can use it. And you can choose the specific one from, from here. So for example, on this one and this one, we can use just the audio and light. Then if you have alarm system, then you can select if you have the alarm system, alarm hub, for example, our air shield, if they can use it. And again, if they have access to all the zones or just some specific one, EIS gates, posts, and so on and so on. So this is the first one. Then also the parking lot, maybe you have several parking lots in your organization. So you can select on which parking lot uh, they can have access or the view groups if you have some um, predefined views if they can see the views if they have the arming groups for example face arming group okay employee they can adjust this group and so on and so on so this is the first one which resources they can use it if you just click right now okay and you will create this webinar role they have no access actually to view the live video or something so you need to finish all this setup over here. So next step, we go to resource operation. So what they can do with the resources, those are actually the things which you can do in the monitoring center, as I show you. So, okay, maybe they have the video channel live, video playback, 
I don't want them to record the text. So those are small marks. I don't want them to record the local PC or capturing the image. Uh, I will leave them with the sound. Privacy protection, yes, I don't want them to remove the privacy protection. That's actually the mosaic, which can be placed on the top of the image. Can they see the AI rules, uh, device time, soft triggers? Yes, yes, yes. So you can set up over here whatever you want for this monitoring center, which the icons which will appear on the cameras. The next step is a business function. Over here, what you can set up. For example, I have an operator and I want them just to use the applications, not the configuration, nothing like this. So we go to application and OK, they can go and be, uh, see the monitoring center. But for monitoring center, I don't want them to have the AR module or the video wall. So just the monitoring center or the live view and the map. Then from the event center, what I want them to do. OK, so just a real time event and uh, arming uh, control. So just those two. From Dix Explorer, what I want them to do, OK, everything. They can, they can do everything in, in Deep Explorer. And this is actually the menu permissions. Now the function. So they will see, it. at the moment, they will just see the menu. But still know the live video from the cameras or the playback. So now we need to go to application. So this is permission for the menu. And now the application. So over here, OK, monitoring center. And I will uh, allow them to, to see everything in monitoring center. Or I can take something up. For example, they cannot see the public view groups or private view groups. From the event center, what they can do, OK, uh, real time alarm. Can they clear the alarms? Yes. Can they see event history? No. Operator shouldn't go to event history. And I want them to use this arming control as over here. So they can see the resources and they can use it. Not only see the menu, but also use it. So now I create the role webinar. I click OK. I have my role webinar over here. And now we are going to create the user. In the user, I will click Add to new one. I will call this webinar 5 user. I will put some username and the password. Some email address, if this user got some email address. Phone number, if available. CC Agile, what does it mean, CC Agile user? This is only for the MPT user, so mobile camera user. So we don't need that at the moment because these operators will work on specific uh, client PC station. Because of the GDPR, OK, they should be able to change the password after the first login. So if you are distributing the password via email, we highly recommend that. For how long this user can use the uh, username and the password, again, GDPR rule, how often the passwords should be changed. OK, in my case, I don't want that. Should be there some uh, expiry time for the password? No. Let's say I have a specific computer. I don't want to, uh, them to use any kind of the computer or they will use their username and the password for some private laptop. So I can bind this to the specific MAC address. You can put up to five MAC addresses for each client. Then over here, we are choosing the multi-client login. What does it mean, multi-client login? I can use the same username and the password on multiple computers. Just be careful with that. If you are going to use this, uh, VDP uh, devices, so video intercom is not working correctly because we don't know if this user pick up the call or hang up the call or what's going on. So multi-client login only if you don't use the VDP. Also, because of the GDPR or some security, I do not recommend to allow this. And now we are adding the role. So we are going to add the webinar role which we created. So that's all. We just click now OK. So we just create the new user for my server. And now I will show you how this looks like. So I will log out over here and log in. And as you can see, I got on the monitoring center, event center, and Deep Explorer from the configuration and nothing. So I can go now to monitoring center. And in monitoring center, you see I don't have this AR module or the video wall. 
I have only trenching over here and only the selected cameras. So if I allow the playback, I can go also to the playback. So this is live and the playback. So this is from monitoring center, event center, again, just the real time events and arming control events. So only those two, nothing else. And from Deep Explorer, I leave all the possibilities for the, for the users to, to work with. So for example, with our new WSIC feature. Okay, so that's how you can create a specific user for your DSS client. I hope this video was clear and thank you for watching.